Hey guys, I am gonna show you a really quick way and a really cool way with um, some, uh, just a really neat tool for recording audio on your cell phone when you don't have any other fancy equipment. Um, it's called Voice Recorder Pro or Voice Record Pro. There's a free version in the App Store um, and there's a, I think, they think there's like a paid one as well. Um, but the free one is really cool um, and does a lot of neat stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and just open it um, and this is what the screen looks like. Listen, the interface is ugly, it's pretty archaic, but the tools and the functions in this thing are gonna blow your mind. Um, so the first thing I want you to look at is the settings. So I'm gonna go up here to the top right-hand corner and click that little settings button. And it's gonna give you a bunch of different options. The first thing that I'm gonna do is calibrate the audio engine. It's gonna make sure and ask, do you wanna calibrate the audio engine? I'm gonna click yes. All this is doing The hardware and the software in your iPhone and the iOS system is working with um, the app itself. Okay, so now I'm gonna click up here one more time in the settings icon or this, on the settings icon, and then I'm gonna actually click settings. There's all sorts of stuff that you guys can customize here um, from how you want things to sort and be displayed, um, in terms of your recordings, how you want things to be recorded, um, advanced recording options. The only thing that I, I went through all of these a while back and I think the only thing that I really changed was on the advanced recording option. I came down here to voice processing and I went ahead and turned that on. It says when enabled, iOS will apply echo cancellation, noise reduction, and automatic gain control on recorded audio. So enabling this option is actually going to disable the manual gain op control as well. And um, default value on this option is usually off. So usually by default, this thing is off. So I turned it on. Everything else I just kind of left um, on its default settings. Um, but you can kind of play around with this and decide you know, what you want things to look like. Over here where it says purge deleted, if you give this a value assigned, um, deleted records are gonna be removed from your device. So anything that you've trashed right now, um, you, can, you can recover it within 48 hours. After that, it's gonna totally purge it. Um, so there's just all sorts of different settings and stuff that you can click on that, um, click through and, and, and decide on that. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to start recording and then another really cool feature that happens after that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click record. Uh, it's going to give you some presets to choose from. You can choose the low version, the medium version, or the high version. The high version is great because the bit depth is 16 and the bit rate is 128,000, which is really great. However, the size of your file is just gonna be a little bit bigger. Um, I usually go with medium, it works pretty well, um, or just as well. Your bit depth is eight and your bit rate is 64K, um, not bad. Um, and the file is, is a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there. You can get a little bit more control with it by clicking on the advanced tab and you know you can, really mess with the settings here, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it on the medium preset. And I'm going to go ahead and record. You can do this one of two ways. You can click the start button up at the top right hand corner, or you can just hit the big red record.
button. You can also pause in the middle and then resume. It's totally up to you. This is what your file is going to look like. It's going to let you play it back, give you a bunch of different options on how to save it or upload it. You can send things by email, by text message, save in your photo album, your Google Drive, Dropbox, One, OneDrive, BoxCloud, uh, iCloud, SoundCloud, um, all sorts of different, you know, post to YouTube, website upload, yada, yada, yada. You can also trim things and add effects. You can airdrop these files. Um, but what I really want to show you is the transcription button. Click on the transcription button and check this out. If you just hit, if you're one of those people that just hates to log files like I do, I hate having to log my video. I hate having to log my sound, but it's actually a really helpful tool if you don't have to waste your time doing it. So if you just click here,